Hey friends and welcome back to another video of our symbolic mathematics series. This is video number three of this series and in this video we will talk about differentiation and integration. So in the first step we will differentiate an expression. So we define a function f of x as a symbolic object and then we say our function f of x is sine of x. What we want to do is to differentiate this function of x after the variable x. If we do this, let's just run this script, plenty of expressions again, but this is our function as you have seen and this is our result. So sine derived is cosine, which is true in fact. In the next step we will define again objects a, b, c, then we define a function g of x and say this is a times the exponential function of b plus c times x and then we would take this function g of x and derive it by x. So this is the function that we have defined and the derivation would be nothing else than a times c times exponential function of this expression. If we derive after x, this b stays in the bracket in the exponential term and c is dependent of x, in this case, or multiplied by x, so c will be derived and put in front of the exponential function and the rest stays the same. So how can we integrate inside of MATLAB without limits? So with that we define just a symbolic operator again and then we say h of x equals x squared. This is this here, as you can see. And if we integrate h of x, we get x to the power of 3 divided by 3, which is true, because if we differentiate this whole thing again, it's nothing else than x squared. So what if we want to integrate with limits? That's very easy to do. So we define a function k of x, which is square root of 1 minus x squared. This is this function here, and if we integrate k of x in the limits from minus 1 to 1, we get pi half. You can check that by yourself, this expression is also true. Again, a very brief and crisp video, we talked about differentiation and integration with and without limits. In the next very interesting video, we will talk about how you can solve differential equations using symbolic operators. So that would be very interesting, so make sure to stick with me. And as always, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, like it, share it with your friends who might benefit from it. And as always, make sure to keep engineering your mind. See you in the next video.